In the world of nanotechnology, being able to build and operate small devices is a big deal. Boxes about as thick as a hair release liquid on command. Cell-sized micro-grippers retrieve tiny objects. Their structures too tiny to be assembled by any machine. The remarkable thing is that these structures, they fold up on their own without any tweezers or human intervention. With support from the National Science Foundation, Govin Menon at Brown University and David Gracias at Johns Hopkins University are developing self-assembling 3D nanostructures. From small things come big ideas. There is a need in medicine to create uh, particles that are smart, that can target specific tumors or specific disease site without delivering drug to the rest of the body, which limits side effects. Basically, it just consists of these nice rigid moves. Menon and his team at Brown figure out how to best design self-folding mm -hmm. nanostructures by flattening them out. They work with a number of shapes, like the 12-sided polyhedron, which can potentially fold into a box-like container. You imagine cutting it up and flattening out the faces as you go along, a two-dimensional unfolding of the polyhedron. He says not all flat shapes are created equal. Some fold better than others. The best ones are the ones which are most compact. They developed an algorithm at Brown to sift through all the possible choices, narrowing the field to a few compact shapes that easily fold into 3D structures. Those designs then went to Johns Hopkins where they created the physical configuration. We create uh, structures that have two parts, a face, and then we deposit a material in between the faces and at the edges. Then they heat them up, creating surface tension that pulls the edges together and fuses the structures shut. The era of nanotechnology promises to revolutionize uh, our lives. We can make them with a lot of different materials, metals, semiconductors, and even biodegradable polymers for drug delivery applications. Now that's thinking outside the box. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.